As the Syrian army makes more advances against foreign-backed terrorist groups, the United States and its Western allies are seeking to establish closer ties with the al-Qaeda-linked groups in order to shift the balance of power in favor of the insurgents. Now the U.S. says it is ready to hold talks with an al-Qaeda-linked group called the Islamic Front. What are the motives behind the policy shift? We have a report on that issue. The Syrian army makes more advances in its long battle against foreign-backed terrorists, regaining control of more areas formerly held by extremist groups. The army continues their operations on the outskirts of Damascus and the rebel-controlled areas of northern Syria. Syrian troops have managed to kill a large number of extremists in their latest offensive in areas near the town of Adra, some 30 kilometers from Damascus. The Syrian army has been advancing as the foreign-backed insurgents have been in full retreat over the past few weeks. The insurgent groups, which are accused of committing some of the worst crimes against humanity in recent history, have suffered greatly due to their internal differences and infighting. These groups also stand accused of harassing the religious minorities and using civilians as human shields on the battlefield. The developments on the battlefield have prompted U.S. officials to reconsider their Syria policy. Washington previously claimed it would never make contact with al-Qaeda-linked groups fighting the Syrian government. But it seems U.S. officials may be about to make a 180-degree turnaround. On Tuesday, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry said Washington may hold talks with commanders of an al-Qaeda-linked extremist group called the Islamic Front. The United States uh, has not met yet to date with uh, the Islamic Front. There has not been a discussion. <coughs> but. Uh, it's possible that it could take place. Last week, Islamic Front fighters overran the headquarters and two warehouses of the so-called Free Syrian Army. The FSA has been militarily and financially backed by the United States and its Western allies. The attack prompted the US and Britain to announce that they would be cutting off their military aid to the FSA. Political analysts say the U.S. is seeking closer contacts with al-Qaeda-linked groups in order to tip the balance of power in the war in favor of the opposition forces.